So yesterday's video, I showed you guys that Shield Experience 9.0 was available, and this brought a lot of cool features, but the most important or most notable was Android 11 is finally on the Nvidia Shield. So, so with that, it has a lot of cool features, audio enhancements, also had some enhancements with the keyboard. Of course, we have security patches, uh, but the primary reason that you guys know from me doing these videos is that I can identify any issues that may pop up. And that way, if you're on the fence about upgrading, you'll kind of have a reference, and that way you can make a decision if you'd like to update or not. So with that being said, guys, I said in that video that if you run into any issues, I drop it in the comments. Let me know if you have a resolution. Let me know which version of the shield you're using. And uh, what I wanted to do this video is just go over those comments, um, go over those issues that we have. And a lot of them do not yet have a resolution, but they should pop up with a new firmware update here shortly. So if you're on the fence, stay tuned, see what issue other people are having, and that way you can make a decision whether you'd like to upgrade or not. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So salute to everyone that actually watched the video that, that actually did the upgrade. Uh, everyone that dropped a comment, let me know what issues they're having. So let's go ahead and we'll just start from the top and I'm going to go through as many as I can. So the first one is from Javon T. He said, sound like some issues can be resolved by power cycling and remove power and reboot. But there are several app issues. You might have to remove your thumb drive or external drives before updating. Now, I'm going to wait on updating because I see multiple issues going on that I'd rather not deal with. So uh, salute to Giovanni. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And that's that's absolutely true guys we've seen reports of external drives failing we've seen reports of apps not working properly and uh, power cycle might fix some of these issues but not going to fix all of them so if you don't have the time to tinker you don't really worry about or care that much for android 11 you might want to go ahead and just hold off CTurf64 said I updated my 2019 Pro, which had a USB stick for extended memory. Initially, it was no longer making the use of the USB stick. I powered it down, removed the stick, repowered up, reinserted the disk, and the shield eventually recognized the stick as extended memory. Note that I do not use the shield as a Plex server, only as a Plex client with no issues. I upgraded my older 2017 Pro with no issues. Note that these are not the 500 gig version. I don't use USB stick for extended memory. I haven't yet tried game emulation. So some issues there with the with the USB drive initially, but it looked like he was able to remedy that by um, unplugging and rebooting and so on and so forth. Those know me said I had an additional update for my connected device Xbox controller. Um, other than that, nothing's different uh, that you showed us. New keyboard voice option is a plus in my opinion. This is the 2017 Shield that I, I demoed yesterday. I also did an update on my 2019 Shield and that was the cone. And uh, I found that there was another update for the actual remote. So keep that in mind if you guys have a newer device that that remote might get an upgrade also. SDHRJ said, upgrade works y'all. I have an older Shield, everything worked flawlessly. Excited to experience new 9.0.0 cj lighthorn said uh, you should warn people that shield experience 9.0 will break your cody and plex and potentially retro arch as well the system permissions for the file apps to reload local disks is broken with the android 11 update so salute to cj lightborn for that comment like i said um in the comment and i responded to him just saying hey when i did this upgrade guys it was live i went in i did the upgrade i read the the i read the the features i did the upgrade so all these potential issues i was not aware of all i was doing is sharing my experience with you and i'm um, unfortunately i don't have all the apps that you guys may have so you might experience something different joe mcnally said uh got the upgrade pushed through earlier this evening in the uk haven't been able to um, play around as of yet. I did find that my app started a little bit faster. Upgrade on my 2019 and 2015 shields. All right, Tim Windsor said, uh, thanks for the video. Shout out Tim. Uh, John K said, based on all the comments I'm reading, I think I'm gonna hold off on this update. If you wanna hold off on this update, be sure that you have automatic turned off. Uh, good point, John K. So let me go ahead and we'll switch over to the Nvidia Shield. If you guys wanna hold off on this update, if you need to make sure that automatic updates is turned off, and I'll show you how to do that. So go to your settings. Uh, for me, I do have a quick launch right here, but if you don't have that, if you go to device preferences, click on about, click on system upgrade, and right here where it says auto upgrade, you wanna go ahead and turn it off. So Paul over Eden said, install my 2015 Shield Pro with only a need for a server update on my PC for Plex. It's amazing, NVIDIA have provided Android 
updates for seven years. A phone released that year, Samsung S6, only got updated to Android Nougat 7.0 before um, ending. And that's one good thing about Nvidia, guys. Um, 2015 shields are still getting updated. And good to know from a consumer standpoint that if you have an Nvidia shield, you're gonna get updates for at least seven years and we're still counting. Uh, shout out to Dallas R8, still getting used to my shield, just installed the new update, thanks for sharing, salute. Darren Campbell said, uh, thanks for the info, I had no idea. I know that you will keep a review subscribers up to date uh, on what you know, good deal. Remember to keep the peace, salute. Benvito said updated two shields, 2017 and 2019, all good and man, they're so fast now, I'm loving the update, but definitely notice my Nvidia Shield Pro 2019. Salute to Alicia, she said, thank you Triple M, did run into an issue uh, with the upgrade finding my remote, I had to reboot and restart the upgrade. Uh, salute to Alicia, Tony said, uh, immediately after installing the update, I formatted my disk which I was using, to reuse it back as removable. When I did this, the format, when I did the formatting, it would not move my data to the disk. I tried it about 10 different times and gave up. Um, so uh, maybe I'm reading that one wrong or reading it too much, but it sounded like you said you formatted a disk, um, which I was using to reuse. Um, so unless it's a different disk, but I know that when you format it, it's gonna clear it out. So. Did you have two discs? Did you format one to transfer stuff on? Uh, if I'm misreading this, drop it in a comment. Maybe you can clarify it a little bit. Um, Kyle said, hey, Triple M, love your channel. Upgraded my NVIDIA Shield TV to the latest version, and now my USB ports don't even be working. I can't use my third-party remotes, and it's not detecting my external drive. Have you heard of anything um, like this? So for something like this, it seems like too many things are happening, and when you see that, Immediately, I'm thinking, did you reboot your device? Um, usually, we'll see one or two things broken, maybe resolved in a little bit after the, the, the update finally loads, but this is too many. Let me see if anyone chimed in. All right, so Pete um, did comment saying, um, same thing happened to me. It, was, it said that my USB drive was ejected. I had most of my apps and pictures on it. Try rebooting a couple of times and still wouldn't load the apps. Left it for a couple hours and rebooted it again and it said it was scanning the USB drive, then it loaded them and now everything is working. I tried updating some apps and it said that I hadn't got enough storage. I knew there was about seven gigs free. So now everything's fixed. <laughs> Damien said, don't bother with us update. I wish I never updated. Uh, just sluggish, keep losing Wi-Fi. So for me, I'm not experiencing that. Um, this new update wiped my shield clean. Holy crap, so that's a new one. Um, haven't seen too many people saying that actually happened. So a lot of comments on here. Like I said, guys, I'm not gonna stretch this out too much. Uh, if need be, I'll do a second video or even a third video trying to fix some of those issues that we're having. But the reason for me doing this video right here is to kind of just let everyone know the issues that users are experiencing. That way, if you're on the fence, if you don't want to update, upgrade, you can wait until another patch or another version of Shield Experience is pushed. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.